Okay, we turn to ghost fashion. <laughs> From the down on it to the mm. very subconscious to the very obvious, um, to the surface. Um, how important is fashion and style for you? Fashion and style, well, you know, I, I think that being a musician, we copy everything from our idols, you know. You know, when we started out, we wanted to look like, I wanted to look like Mark Baldwin or somebody <laughs> from Black Sabbath, you know. Okay. Grow my hair long and wear 70s stuff, you know. It was just, it's like, well, uh, at least a rock and roll circus anyway, when you're a kid, even a fan, you just um It's a very tribal thing. It's like mm -hmm. the goth scene. It's always a scene. So, uh, so people want to look alike because they want to prove their clothing. They want to show, give the, give a middle finger, the finger to the uh, to the uh, to the other people. Yeah, so it's, it's, true. A, it's a tribal thing more or less. And then obviously when you grow up a bit, you start to search for your individuality and try to stand out. And then at some point, like where I'm now, you know, it's, I can't be asked. You know. <laughs> skip board. But nowadays, do, do you still have somebody you think is very well dressed or something? I think it's more about the. It's always like, especially like with with women. It's uh, I think it's the person who carries that stuff because you can wear, wear the oddest stuff it just, if it just fits your personality. Mm. So I've never really, I'm bad with like handbags, you know, <laughs> like like the girly stuff. You know, I, I can like un understand like that Chanel bag is classic. I was like. Well, All right. But still, you like accessories, uh, like well, uh, your well, toothpicks and rings. Well, not too much. You know, it's um, it's like um, it's like a safety blanket. It's mm -hmm. one of those things that you can like with a ring. You can just do that. Okay. Especially when you can't smoke. <laughs> so uh, it's just a stress toy. Okay. More or less. But, uh, but no, it's it's uh, you know, it's complicated, I guess. But I think you had different styles, and uh, when I. When I see it with the albums, you know, right. following the albums, I, you always had another style. So, how does that work? Is it really in when you're starting a new album or you're coming out with it, you try to, no, to look different? That, or it only means that I go to uh, buy new, uh, buy new clothes every three years. <laughs> okay. That's what it means. You get stuck with one thing. I like um, I like comfort. That's the different thing, again, between uh, ladies and 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 gents. A lot of times, it's like if I find one pair of jeans. That's good. I get four of them because I can wear all the stuff, same okay. stuff every day, which enables me not to think about what I'm wearing, <laughs> which means that I have more time to think yeah. about something else. Well, where do you buy clothes? Um, I get a lot of stuff free. Oh, okay, you know, really? You know, I have friends, some friends working with different labels mm. and then or different companies. So that's how it happens. And then through, uh, through um, photo shoots, mm -hmm. so from stylists. That's always, you know, if there's good cool. stylists, you can always you know, beg for some stuff, but, uh, but not now, you know, it's just, uh, I, I'm all for comfort, <laughs> <laughs> well, at least while touring. Do you have something like a, uh, your, your, your item, the item you like most of your closet, what, what is it? Um, I think all that stuff's broken down. Because I have worn <laughs> Because it you so worn it off. Yeah. But a lot, a lot of stuff I've been wearing is like, I have my dad's shirt from the 70s mm -hmm. i used to wear a town so but now it's broken it's like filled with holes so i can't wear it anymore but uh i find it's tough it's like same with musical instruments it's tough to find stuff new that would fit perfectly so i believe in the uh the thing that uh, when you buy a new leather jacket or whatever you know just wear it when you go to bed or you know the classic trick to put stuff underneath the, uh, the mattress mm -hmm. so you wear it out okay <laughs> that's the best classic trick Uh -huh. you know, so the stuff doesn't look too you know, too I, brand new. I only know it for boots. You know, you piss in it and you oh, walk in. Well, you know, I've heard about that. Too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's several ways of uh, going about it. But, uh, but no, it's it's, about, it's a lot of times it's about comfort. Anyway. But when I remember, for example, pretending came out. Yes. You had this jacket with. I would think there was a lot of things written yeah, yeah. on it. Yeah, it really looks lyrics. like work. You know, like no, well, we you did, really did something to have that no, this kind of stage outfit. We did a we did a video for Wicked Game in London, and uh, then uh, it was a uh, Ries van Norten, I think a Dutch designer of mm -hmm. Belgium, mm -hmm. a Dutch probably. Um, Dutch. Uh, a jacket. I, I got, yeah, I stole it or I got it from the uh, video shoot, and then I just started noodling on it. Started drawing. It looks really cool. So yeah, I like yeah. it. And it's still, I still have it somewhere. Then you had this red leather jacket, you know. In some that was my girlfriend's. You know, it was just something <laughs> but it suited you well. <laughs> I, I, I run down, you know, 
so uh, I was running out of uh, clothes. Oh, so this could... um, like a blouse with this uh, couple dancing. It looked like the twenties. Oh, that thing. It all looks like really stylish, you know. That's well, why that's I'm asking my, if you're not yeah, maybe. That's one, from one of my Helsinki idols, one of my mates with the, you know, with whose band I was playing, and he gave it to me as a birthday present or something back in the day. So. Okay, a lot, lot of stuff, you know, travels in funny ways. It's not that it would be so conscious. So it, it works a little bit more like with the, the things you're surrounding yourself. It's like more the relation. Yeah, which comes or, or then the fact that you don't have any relationships. Uh -huh. Okay. So clothes are <laughs> like just stylish. it's just clothes. Okay. Like now the shit I'm wearing is, doesn't represent anything. But when do you think are you very well looking? If you really want to dress yourself up, what would you wear? At the moment, um, well, I got a couple of nice suits back home. The suits are tough to tour with, so that's you know, um, dry, uh, dry washing <laughs> stuff, you know, doing laundry is terribly yeah. hard on tour, and then they can fuck it up. So, uh, if you have nice clothes, you know, yeah. don't do it. I wash all my stuff by myself in the sink. But you had tour. this this one tour when you were, I think, wearing a smoking or something like that. Could be, could be. Like shimmering black yeah, suit, yeah. Like. Yeah. yeah. And is there something like a favorite? piece of cloth in a way like Alice Cooper has a spleen, you know, like uh, he has hundreds of trousers. He well, gives them sometimes to charity also because well, he's always buying new stuff. Well, Is there something the you money. like best? I spend my stuff on music. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, uh, no, no, again it goes in phases. I'm, you know, I'm, I like Jehovah's Witnesses. I'm, I'm like a racehorse with blinders on. So, I, you know, when I like something I wear it to death okay. and then it's gone. That's what and I did. I, I was just, uh, we just played in Berlin. Um, I was wearing uh, my favorite pair of uh, jeans, and finally they broke down on stage. So the guy ripped from the ass, but nobody noticed it, I guess. So, <laughs> well, that was the reason why people clapping hands. But uh, so now I had to throw them away. But I wore them like for maybe a hundred gigs, and for like five years. So it did so. this job, yeah. yeah. Is it difficult difficult to find your your size because you're so? Skin, uh, no, just <laughs> ladies' stores. No, no, <laughs> really? No, no, it's, uh, no, no, you know, we are, we we all measure in inches, so it's not too tough. So it's, it's depending on the make. You know, I like uh, I like jeans by Tiger Sweden, for example. Okay. Brand. They're not expensive and they are, they are, they fit pretty well. So it's, okay. it's, it's easy, and you don't have to wear them to make them comfortable. Okay, wonderful. Um, wow. Looking back, yes. what was the best style over the years? It was my best style. Uh, I like Deep Shadows of Britain High last thing. You know, with That's the ten rings and, and yeah. with that jacket. That was know. a jacket, right? Yeah, yeah. And then I had one, one shirt that was actually bought from Vintage and Rags uh, from here, from uh, Linda Strasse. Oh, um, it was you? Yeah. Okay. Um, but I lost it um, somewhere in the backstage, somewhere. And then. Um, yeah, it was a combination of a lot. I can't play. It's been, it's been a long time. But, uh, Do you have a problem with vintage clothes that they are worn by somebody else? No, no, I used to wear, I usually tend to li like to wear vintage. I don't like new clothes. Okay. But the problem is that it's tough to get stuff in my size. So, uh, so, <laughs> so that's, it that's, is, in yeah, a way. That's, that's the problem. But I think it's a problem for everybody. But, but mm -hmm. if you're not the regular size, like, dudes are usually like, what, 32 waist is like regular for a guy. But, uh, like, these pants are like, what, 28 by 32. 32 so, only? Yeah, the length because of the uh, shape of these. Normally, normally it's like 29, 34, but uh, it depends. Yeah, it depends I, I on would the brand to give you 34, and then, 36. And then, you know, and then you know Italians, you know, yeah, Italian stuff. So, that's but, different. And the length is 32, so I'm 28. 27 to 29 is the waist, and it just doesn't change. Okay. So, you know, even if I eat more, it doesn't change. <laughs> if I eat less, it doesn't change. Some it's people would say you're well, really lucky. <laughs> well, you know, I got good jeans from my, from my dad. You know, he's a skinny, skinny fucker. He, he's like you, okay. Yes. And um, color, fabric-wise, is there anything you prefer? Like, you like black leather or rather I'm black not velvet? On, I, I'm or not big on leather. I've been, no, I've been actually wearing my old leather jacket. I found this old 70s thing I haven't worn in years. And it's just, it's good because it's got several pockets. So when you travel, it's easy. Yeah, it's true. So um, but um, I'm not a fan of leather, and uh, why I wear Converse is because they're light. You can wash them, and then you can buy exactly the same pair wherever you go in the world. That's true. So it's very easy. 
Yeah. So um, it's some of that stuff, especially when traveling, because I like to travel just with a backpack. I never check anything in because I've had the problem of, of uh, flight companies losing my asthma medication and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I always just want to keep everything on me. So that's the reason to travel as light and simple as possible. And that has a lot of things to do with the clothes as well. So mm. Just to have like two pairs of something and that's it. As and opposed to like big regalia of different yeah, sorts yeah, of stuff. Okay. Yeah, okay. You're not more like yeah. obviously. <laughs> yeah. But um, is it your everyday style? So, or are you changing when you're going on tour? Uh, are you? Is it like this? I would. Well, do I have more the streets. To wear, I, I have the sure. chance of yeah. wearing more stuff when I'm For back sure. home since I have more stuff there. But uh, yeah. I try to keep it simple. I think it's you know I've always liked the fact that you look the same whether you're on stage or not. Yeah. You know more or less. I think it's cool. You know, but you don't put on a persona. And then it's on the other hand, it's really disheartening if you see one of your idols wearing you know like fucking trainers. So you know. You know, all of a sudden, some cool dude on stage, all of a sudden looking like a, you know, like a bodybuilder, <laughs> you know, on, off stage. But, so, but it doesn't really matter. I, I think the most important thing is to, you know, just feel comfortable and stylish enough. Are you aware that you're a trendsetter in a way? Pardon me? Are you aware that you're a trendsetter for, for some people in a way? Well, you know, tough to say if we would be, but... Or I would be, not thinking, we're talking about myself in third person. Just I'm always talking about the band, in general, <laughs> not all of us. But yeah. uh, um, but I think that people are not necessarily. I don't believe in trendsetters per se. You know, obviously people who are photographed more and whose picture you can see more that has more infl influence. But I think that everybody's a trendsetter because people look at people. That's what people mm. do. You sit down on the terrace and drink coffee, and you see everything. You see. You're there for 15 minutes and you see 150 people. And of course, there's going to be something that you can be like, wow, that's nice. Mm -hmm. but, and then, you know, the coolest things stick with you. And then next time around, when you walk by a shop and you see that sort of a thing, you're like, maybe it wouldn't fit me. That's how it goes. Everybody influences everybody all the time, style wise, I think. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, I just remember the red leather jacket boom. Really? Well, you know, whatever, yeah, there was one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, that's the way it goes. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you once again. Yeah.